Hey guys, it's Stuart for Click On This, and I'm here at the One Night for the Love of Our Country benefit here at Air Force Pavilion in Simi Valley. It's a great night. Kevin Costner is performing with his band. Adam Carolla is emceeing. Let's have some fun. Tonight, tell me what brings you out. Well, I was blessed to be invited to honor our troops, um, you know, and I'm just so grateful to have this opportunity to do that. And it's great, Kevin Costner's performing. Are you a fan of his? Yes, <laughs> I am. Have you seen him perform before? No, I've never seen him perform, so I'm excited. Supposedly, he jams, <laughs> does he? Oh, that's good, that's exciting. What about being at this? You know, I've never been out here. We're in Simi Valley, so it's Ronald Reagan, Air Force One is here. What are your thoughts on that? I love it. I've been here before. This is actually my third time, and I love coming every time. I just get such a feeling of empowerment. <laughs> it is. It's really cool. And talk to me about what you've been up to. What have I been up to? I've just been, you know, pitching a show called Stacy Dash is Normal, and uh, just, you know, doing my thing as a mom. <laughs> And that's it, really. And are you on social media? Click on this. We love to hear about Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. What are your favorite ways to communicate? Twitter. I love Twitter. Because you can reach so many people and so many different opinions and get people to open their mind and start having a dialogue and discussion, which is so important. I'm here with Quentin Aaron. Talk to me about being here tonight for such an incredible cause. Oh, man, it's amazing. Like I was telling them, I always, I always support our troops. I have been for the past few years now. Um, I've been involved in a lot of programs dealing with the wounded warriors, and um, I've even visited one of the, the, the main hospitals in D.C. and got to hang out with some of the vets and hear their stories. And, you know, I'm here tonight to hopefully support some more. And I heard that the original Air Force One was here, so I, was, I felt it would be cool to come in and, you know, see the plane, and hopefully they let me walk inside of it, you know, take some pictures, act like Obama, and get my presidential status on, you know. Instagram some pics. I mean, it's like Ronald Reagan did so much business in that plane. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Now I have to ask, this is like, your girl Sandra Bullock is killing it. What are your she thoughts is. on Gravity and Golden Globes and everything she's got going on? Oh, man, it's amazing. I saw the movie. It was the, I actually went to the movies three times to see Gravity. Like, three different sets of people. So we went, I saw, yeah, I spent almost $100 in tickets. Maybe I got over you, girl. Thousand tickets, you know, seeing it. So yeah, it was a great movie. She did her thing, and um, she's gonna win it again this year. And then finally, social media. How do you like to talk to your fans, your friends? Are you Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of them? What do you like? I do Facebook, Twitter. I uh, definitely do Instagram. Not as much as everyone else, but I do get on there from time to time and talk to people and and say what I when I can and everything. So. Yeah. All right, I'm with my boys from American Guns. Introduce yourself. I'm Rich Wyatt from American Guns on Discovery Channel and Gunsmoke in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Cool, and you? I'm Brian Meidel. I'm the head gunsmith at Gunsmoke. Okay, the head gunsmith. What does that entail? It entails a lot of sleepless lights, a lot of long hours, and uh, a lot of grease and oil. I would imagine you can get a little dirty doing that. I've gotten quite dirty, yeah. It's, it's what I do. <laughs> 
And tell me about being here tonight. Well, we came tonight, of course, to support our military veterans in this particular event for the Navy SEALs, and we are excited about that, Stuart. We're so happy to be here. We build guns, we buy guns, we sell guns on TV, and kind of make guns famous in their own little way. And these guys take these guns out, and they go use them to defend this country. So how could we not be here to support these guys? These are American heroes right here. We just do TV stuff, they do real stuff. It's such a wonderful night to support, you know, life after the military, during the military, and the struggles that you meet and to celebrate their work. Yeah, it is, and this is a good opportunity to do it. One thing we find when we work with wounded veterans, they want to get back out and start shooting again because that's where they lost it, and now they want to get right back to it. So we try to build adaptive guns and put them back in the saddle so they can get it done. Stuart, have you ever shot a gun? I have. I'm from South Carolina, and my uncle had a hunting lodge. I went dove hunting. Nice. Aren't Dove great? I mean, you don't get much meat, but it's great meat. I'm here with Veja. Now, I know this is a very special evening for you. Talk to me about being here. I'm just so uh, honored to be here tonight. What a great event uh, to be supporting our American troops who have served our country and continue to serve. And um, it's, it's such a blessing to be here. Yeah, and the organizations, the work they do, it's so powerful and important. Yeah, it's, it's really nice that um, an organization like this can, you know, bring all the military families together and, and invite celebrities and people who want to donate, you know, for a good cause. Because there's families, you know, who are victims of, you know, losing their children and husbands and wives are not around anymore. And we have, you know, currently a lot of people who need support, you know, financially and stuff. So we have to come together as a nation and to uh, help each other because it's important. At the end of the day, we're all Americans, so it's just, it's great. And I've heard so much about your father. Fill us <laughs> in on this remarkable man. Well, I, my father is a retired colonel, uh, but he was actually uh, recalled. And he, this is his fourth uh, tour right now in Afghanistan. And uh, we told him the great news, so he's so excited that we're here. And he's also a member of the associations uh, that are you know, doing the event tonight. So yeah, he's, um, my dad just loves the military. He's been doing it his whole life. So he's an army boy and always will be. <laughs> Yeah. And then I know you have a new single coming out. Tell us more. Yeah, I recently released my new single called We Found Love, and I have a new music video that's out on YouTube, and I'm very excited about it, and I'll be going to the Grammys again next year, 2014. I, I'm so honored to be even attending there every year, so it's just... It's a blessing to come, you know, to Hollywood you know, with my dreams because I've been doing music my whole life. And again, I'm grateful that my parents, especially my father, have worked so hard and sacrificed everything so I could live my dreams. So just wanted to say thank you, mom and dad. Im Singh tonight. What can we expect from you? Um, I wish I knew. Winging it. Ironically, winging it under a wing. I've heard the term winging it many times, but I've never been standing underneath a wing where somebody said, you're going to wing it. I have a knack for writing jokes. Also, <laughs> the band The Knack is on top of this wing, which is now insane. Mind blown. Speaking of being blown, <laughs> oh no, wait a minute. All right, I'm probably going too far with this. No. Where were we? We were winging it. We Yes, I'm, I'm going to, you know, my problem, my problem is, is I have winged it a lot in my career and it's worked. I was going to say uh, you do well. <laughs> well, not all the time, but a fair bit of the time it works. So I'm like a fighter who wins most of the time and smokes and drinks and eats cotton candy. That's like training. Yeah, see, I don't train, but every once in a while I get knocked out because I don't train. Do you see what I'm saying? I get it. So tonight, I could be knocked out. Yeah. We don't know that. Well, it seems to me like it's a, I mean, this is an awesome event. Talk to me about how you got involved. Um, somebody asked me, I, I, I have this conversation. I mean, I'm not being modest, but I'll be honest. People get hold of my people and they say, can you do this charity event? And I say, what date? And then they give me the date. And then I say to my assistant, am I doing anything on Sunday the 15th? And then he'll go, no. And then I'll go, all right. No, no. Then I have a, my next question is, where is it? Simi Valley was just, I have a circle, <laughs> you know, like Domino's delivery guys. 
I have a charity circle that's written. I have a pin where my house is, and there's a circle, and see me was just... It was a number of yards. As a matter of fact, if I go to that side of the library, I'm out of my circle. I, I what? Well, yeah, I can't go to that side. I'll disappear. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I hope you had fun. I'm going to check out my silent auction bids and see if I want anything. See you next time. Hello, I'm recording artist Vasia, and you're watching Click On This. I'm Stacy Dash, and you're watching Click On This. Hi, I'm Quinn Aaron, and you're watching Click On This. Yeah. Hey, I'm Adam Carolla, and you're watching Click On This.